Here I have the Anchor Gallium Nitride Prime, which is a charger that supports up to 100 watts of charging across three different ports on the device and is incredibly small compared to other traditional chargers that just don't use gallium nitride or GAN charging. Um, so this is a super popular option on places like Amazon or from Best Buy. They come in different sizes, uh, different amount of wattage, different, some that are bigger, some that are a lot smaller. Um, so this one that I actually have here is the 100 watt one. So this is what I'm gonna be going over today. So here's a look at the charger itself. So as you can see here on the side, it says Anchor GAN Prime. And there's really not, you know, a whole ton to this device. At the end of the day, it's just a charger. So right here on the front, we have three different ports. So as you can see here, it says, uh, it uses Anchor's IQ4 technology. So basically just detects how much a device can accept wattage wise, and it delivers that maximum amount. So there's two USB-C ports on here, one that's kind of labeled with a computer and another one that's labeled with a smartphone. Um, these both can charge at the same wattage. And then there's the USB type A port here at the top, which obviously cannot. Uh, according to Anchor's documentation that comes along with this device, um, the 100 watts is total. So for example, if I plug something into any either one of these USB-C ports that can get the full 100 watts if it's like a computer. Um, if you're plugging in two things in the two USB-C ports, between those two, it'll go up to 100 watts. So maybe we do 67 for a computer and 30 something for a phone, right? Or if you plug in, you know, two or three devices, like if you put something in USB-A port, again, it will go up to 100 watts, just whatever the max is. So this charger kind of takes care of all that for you. And then over here on the back, a lot of different documentation. Again, this kind of like explains what the ports look like. So like if you use two ports, if you use one port, what is the max output? Um, just in general though, what I kind of just said is, is for the most part. Um, it says Anchor Prime 100 watt. So this is the 100 watt one. Some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, depending on you know how much wattage you get. But there's little prongs here in the back that kind of retract, so nice compared to some other chargers that might, might come in the box that don't actually retract. So good for traveling for sure. This is pretty much like the ultimate travel device since you can plug in you know, a bunch of different things into this one device. You have to bring a bunch of different chargers with you. So I'm actually a really big nerd when it comes to chargers. I love getting new chargers, whether that's you know in the box of a new device or just like getting ones that have different designs or higher wattages. I'm always shopping, it seems like, for chargers on Amazon, even though I don't really need a new charger, but I don't know why. I just have such a, a fascination with them. I think that they're just so cool, especially USB-C chargers. Um, this is gonna sound even more nerdy, but back when the Essential phone, the PH1 phone came out, and it was probably 2017 or something, uh, it came with a really cool charger in the box. It came with this charger right here, which, for the time was a really big charger when it came to USB-C power delivery. Um, this had this was a 27 watt USB-C power delivery uh, adapter when a lot of them were just 15 or 18 max at the time. And so this came with the device. It was super minimal, you know, the whole essential like design philosophy was that everything was like super minimal. So it has like this little, you know, silver, or not silver, this little like black metal plate here in the end, and then it has this little port, and they're like, oh, you know, you could even use this for laptops if you really need to. But I was so like interested in just this charging block. I didn't have an Essential phone. So I actually reached out to Essential on email, and I said, hey, I really love your charging block. Like, can I have one? And they said, sure, we'll send one out to you. And so <laughs> I've had this for a while, and I've actually used this quite a bit. Um, that's again, super nerdy. It doesn't really have a ton to do with this charger, but it's like, I think that this, uh, kind of just shows why my nerdiness when it comes to chargers and stuff. I mean, these chargers right here, are what I just found in the drawer, like looking for 10 seconds, you know, I have a bunch of different USB-C, especially power delivery chargers. Um, and now theoretically, you know, these all right here could be replaced by this one anchor charger. So what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to like just show you this compared to other chargers that you might have laying around just size wise. So we're looking at this. Um, let's just go with like the basic Apple one. I'm sure a lot of people have this for their iPhone. This is Apple's 20 watt USB-C power delivery charger. And this is anchors gallium nitride, the hundred watt charger. This is a hundred watts. This is 20 watts. 
So, I mean, size-wise, yeah, it's probably about double the thickness and just a little bit longer. But this, again, has three ports on it, and this can charge an entire laptop plus a phone or a switch or accessories, whatever you want. This can basically just power a phone or something. So it's kind of crazy how small it actually is. Um, same thing with this, this is pretty similar. It's just like a Pixel, like an 18 watt charger. Again, I said this is like a 27 watt charger, which for the time was super small when it came to like chargers that are kind of high wattage. If we look at this one, this is the official Apple 96 watt USB-C power adapter. I use this for my MacBook Pro. And this anchor one is more is more powerful than this, you know, by three watts, not a ton. But I mean, just looking at it size wise, like it's crazy how small this charger actually is, especially with other ports. And like just for portability, like this is such a great option for for, you know, moving around if you're traveling, doing a lot of different things, just looking at it size wise. So let's just plug some devices into this charger and then i'll show you how the actual charging part of it works so there's three ports on here obviously so i'm going to plug in three different devices so starting off here with the usb type a port what we're going to do so i'm just going to plug in some airpods so plug that right on into there um i'm also going to plug in an ipad that you know maybe you would have along uh with you if you're a student or something so then we're going to plug in that ipad with the usb c port and then finally, we're going to get a MacBook. So I'm going to plug my MacBook into this bottom port right on here. And so there you go. Three different chargers in it. Three different sizes of chargers as well. Um, obviously a little bit bigger of one, like for a MacBook. One that might be for an iPhone or iPad. And then a USB A port here in the top. And then I'm just going to plug this on in. And then there you go. Plugs right into the wall. And I'll show you the devices. So here are the three devices all being charged at the same time through the Anchor Gallium Nitride Prime Charger. So here I have the AirPods that are being charged with this little lightning cable. Uh, we have the iPad here, which is plugged in actually in the side here in the iPad case, a little USB-C port. Um, as you can see, that's kind of charging up there in the corner. Then the same thing over here with the MacBook. It is charging there as well, which is being charged with MagSafe going to that USB-C port right over the charger right there in the corner. So <laughs> this is what you set up might look like. You can combine basically three chargers, right? Right into one. So it's a really good solution if you are traveling or if you just don't have a ton of space. So then just some final thoughts about this device. One is on the weight. So it's pretty dense. It is heavier than similar, similarly sized chargers that might not offer as high as of charging speeds. So if we compare like this compared to the Apple like 21 adapter, obviously this one's a little bit bigger, but the Apple one is significantly lighter. This one's a little heavier. It's not gonna be anything crazy. Still, if you plug it into the wall, it's not gonna fall out of the wall. Um, it's pretty similar in weight to just like a regular laptop charger. In fact, for some chargers, it might even be a little bit lighter. So that's kind of what it is for that. And the other thing is for heat. So it does get pretty hot when it's charging, especially three devices at once, since it is so small. It, it doesn't have a lot of room to work with when it's routing obviously all the energy from the outlet to the devices. So it does get pretty hot, um, nothing crazy. Like if you touch it, you're not gonna get burned or anything, but it does warm up. I would say more so than most other chargers that I've used, um, but it shouldn't be a, a safety hazard. And I really don't think you're gonna actually notice it unless you're like, have your hand in the, char the charger the entire time they're using it, which most likely you just won't. I like to always go through a three pros and three cons for every product I like to review. I just don't know if that makes sense here since this is just a charger. It's not like I need to go through a bunch of different features, but just would I recommend this in general? And I would say, yeah, absolutely. What I would say is for this is get this when it's on sale because the price fluctuates a whole bunch, whether it's for this 100 watt one or smaller ones or bigger ones. I know like the 65 or 67 watt one is pretty popular. But for this one, at least, I got this during Prime Day. I think I got it for $45, which is pretty good for what this is. You know, if you go to the Apple store and you're buying like a 96 watt charger, it's gonna be 70, 80 bucks. But um, I got it, like I said, around $45 about. I know sometimes when it's not on sale, it can go up to like 80 or $90 for this thing. So I'd 
recommend waiting until it's on sale because Anchor regularly releases new products every year as well. So like last year's or chargers from last year, two years ago that might still work perfectly fine are usually pretty heavily discounted. So whether that's, you know, Black Friday, Prime Day, if there's just a, a deal that's going on at some point, like that would probably be the best time to get one of these unless you like desperately need one now. But I would totally recommend it. Like looking at stars, what I would say, 4.7 stars i don't know like it, it again it's a charger it does exactly what it needs to do it charges the devices at that max speed so like you know i've used this for my macbook um just to charge that and that's perfect it's like it charges it at that full speed that it can the fast charging same thing with charging my phone it charges my phone super fast um you can use this for through nintendo switch i've used it with my switch and it charges it in handheld mode it can even work on the tv so if you plug in the USB C port from there to here and you're just plugging it into a dock for the tv it works for that too basically what i'm just trying to say is that this has a wide compatibility with different things it has usb power delivery um it has tps support it pretty much will not let you down if your device does charge with USB-C or USB-A. So that's all I have to say about this little thing. I think it's pretty great, but thank you all so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later.